Hey everyone. So, so today, yes, I'm doing a video. So, uh, yeah, I keep repeating myself. I, you know, like uh, I, I actually don't, uh, don't enjoy making political videos. I rarely do it. Uh, but you know, once in a while, yeah, just feel like doing it. <laughs> I don't like doing it, but I do it once in a while. Okay. Uh, it's not really uh, well. Uh, I just wanted to um, to mark uh, the moment. So yesterday night, uh, I followed the uh, kind of live, not really live, but I follow CNN, and uh, like you, I guess uh, maybe some of you followed the event that happened. Uh, yes, we have uh, um, we had Donald Trump uh, visiting Korea, and uh, he signed. Uh, Signed some document. I don't know what's in the document. Something he signed something with Kim Jong Un, but uh, apparently the deal is that um, there's some promise of denuclearization. So it's not like uh, I guess it's not for sure. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really clear on that. Uh, and then on the on the American side, uh, I guess promise to uh, remove the troops from South Korea. I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's kind of like, uh, yeah, like on both sides, uh, they decide to uh, to stop, kind of stop the the whole war games, uh, so to say. Uh, so uh, I guess I can tell you my opinion on that. Uh, yeah, I'm actually happy about it, you know. And uh, I, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird not to be happy about it. I, I mean. Okay, you know, you can actually think, you know, in the back of your mind, uh, yeah, you know, we didn't get a very good deal, you know. I mean, I think this is like the where the criticism comes from. Um, a lot of people are happy that we did not get, that uh, we, uh, that we did not get further, like, uh, war tensions. That's a good thing. Uh, however, it seems like uh, we did not get a good deal out of it. We did not get a clear, like, oh, uh, North Korea is going to denuclearize. That, like we did not get that, and uh, at the same time we said like, oh, we're gonna remove our troops, so that's bad. I mean, uh, let's think about the uh, kind of like the outcomes that could have come out of uh, this whole, you know, North Korea thing. So uh, you know, a few uh, few months ago, yeah, I went to South Korea and. Uh, because uh, Sophie is Korean, so I went with her to South Korea, and I, I, I mean, I enjoy being there, and, and it's a good thing, you know. I mean, at that time there was a lot of tension between the U.S. and the, uh, and uh, North Korea, and then like, I think kind of because of Trump who was like threatening to uh, go all out war with North Korea. I forgot what happened back then, but I guess uh, the, the there was some tensions. Um, not sure exactly why, can't remember. But but at that time, you know, I was like thinking, like, wait, is it a good idea to go to South Korea? What if suddenly, like, uh, war breaks out between the North and the South, or uh, between the, or what if uh, the U.S. starts to attack North Korea? I mean, North Korea, the situation, uh, I, I mean, it's kind of a, a very bad state. The country, you know, the the. Uh, in the inside, inside the North Korea, like the yeah, the people are starving. There's like very a lot of humanitarian problems. It's really f like uh, the country in a very bad state. And at that point, you know, like there was like many outcome that could have come out of this. Like what, what, how could we solve the problem? Because you know, we cannot. S stay in this state of tension like constantly you know with the south and the north you know being uh, split apart and then being in constant tension so there could have been many outcomes you know uh, I mean I guess one outcome would be like basically we like, basically just like go have a war with North Korea send the troops in, in like uh, just break down the regime and then just install like shove in democracy you know there was one solution, I guess, and uh, I mean, I you know, I was really like scared that this this was like the what 
would happen and I don't know it could still happen but like now it seems like we're going in a different direction so but I was really worried because this this is not this kind of hits close to home you know the fact that uh, you know like uh, I mean Sophie's family is in Korea her, her parents and her brothers and everybody and, and the fact that we, we would could have like a war between the south and the north just to try to oust the regime and, and try to install democracy that that was like a scary thought for me so instead like this this is a different route that we're going where uh, North Korea just opens up to uh, the idea of denuclearizing and having peace with with South Korea and you know maybe North Korea is always gonna stay North Korea they're never gonna be one country never gonna be one Korea but they this is gonna be like um, how can I say basically the the path now is right now North Korea promises just promises we don't know yet but they promise to denuclearize and we we remove the troops and basically this is just uh, kind of like the path to peace right <laughs> and uh, there's there's a lot of criticism from people I, I'm not sure why this for me like there's, there's something but uh, like maybe I'm a little bit too naive about the situation but really this is something that I, I'm happy about that uh, you know this is the the way things go Time will tell if uh, if you know this leads to a good, good thing or a bad thing, and it could go either way. But out of all the options that could have happened, you know, frankly, you know, this is kind of hopeful for 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 the world. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you all share my opinion. This is what I'm thinking. But let let me just break down like uh, some of the reasons uh, now why. Uh, people are not happy about this. It's like first of all the deal. When, when you uh, like, uh, I guess you know when when there's like uh, let, let's break down the the whole North Korea thing. Like uh, forget like instead of thinking of it as a country, let's think like you were dealing with actual person, <laughs> and this person was uh, like, let's say like uh, they were doing like very bad stuff being very violent and then uh, like doing bad stuff and now uh, maybe you were having arguments with this person basically you were at war with one person and then at the end uh, of the day you decide okay you know I'm sick of uh, dealing with that person I'm sick of having problem with that person let's have peace so let's meet that person and then you decide to have peace and uh, basically, just like yeah, let's let's just have peace, okay? <laughs> let's see if it works out. And then, but the thing is that like, you don't get a good, very good deal out of it. You just say like, yeah, let's just have peace, you know? Okay, I, I'm not gonna bother you anymore. And then you uh, just don't don't do it, don't bother me anymore, right? And you might not trust that person. And then you think like, in the back of your mind, man, you know, with all the bad things that that person have done in the past, maybe I not, I didn't get a very good deal. Maybe I should have uh, have them sign the. Uh, uh, make like make sure that uh, you know I can check on that that person to make sure that they don't do bad things anymore, or like I guess that that could have been the the situation, right? Um, but what if uh, just like just let it go, you know? Just uh, uh, let's say like okay, yeah, we we have peace, and then uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna ask that much just for peace. I mean, is that a bad thing, really? Maybe that's the way to go, you know. Just uh, tr I mean, even though like uh, like there was like a rough past, just let the past go and then just uh, have a promise of peace. And uh, is that is that something bad, really? Like, should we really like think about, okay, because of the bad things that this person did in the past, maybe we should have some kind of punishment, or or maybe we should have like, uh, you know, like some kind of restriction to make sure that nothing bad happens or we can just say like yeah just like uh, let's let's have peace <laughs> I don't know I, I'd be fine with that really like you know if uh, I was like having problem with someone and then at the end like hey like let's just cut the cut it out and uh, let's just let's just uh, have peace okay 
Yeah, I mean, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, uh, then what? What can you do, right? <laughs> if this doesn't work out, uh, then uh, okay, I guess uh, you know we can have a uh, we can go go to Plan B, which is like uh, maybe fight again. Ah, oh, it's not good. But uh, you see, my point here is that. I don't know. I don't think this is a bad thing, you know. Just the, the fact that uh, they meet, they say that uh, we're gonna stop fighting, we're gonna have a peace, and then uh, like uh, we didn't get a very good deal, you know. Like oh, we didn't get uh, <laughs> whatever. Why is it a bad thing? It's a good thing in terms of uh, just like world peace, right? <laughs> just uh, what what if like everything was happening the same way, you know, like. Uh, <laughs> I guess you know I don't know if we can compare that, but uh, li like let's say that uh, there was like the uh, let's say that World War Two ended like in just like okay instead of like having sanctions on all the bad things that happened uh, during World War Two, we just say okay let's have peace now and then just let it go. M maybe that would have been a little bit too much given like the fact that uh, like the way the regime was at that time in terms of like uh, having let it, letting like uh, the, na the the Nazi um, regime keep going and then just have peace and then just let all the, the massacre happening that would have been something bad now in this case is it something is it comparable like is it something that we should really think about that that's kind of hard to say you know but you know, I mean, just like overall, you know, out of all the outcome that I can think could have happened between, you know, uh, uh, the situation with uh, North Korea the way it was, I'm actually not not unhappy about the outcome that uh, that we are at right now. The fact that uh, you know we have that uh, the U.S. come there and then sign some some stupid paper that just say, uh, yeah, let's just uh, stop stop fighting that's that's a good thing I cannot really think about anything bad about it so I guess once criticism it was like we didn't get a good very good deal and I guess the second criticism that I've seen people <laughs> say about this um, is that uh, yeah it's true like uh, there's like a lot of humanitarian uh, problems with North Korea I mean they really see like um, Kim Jong Un, like kind of like this monster, and then now we let 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 him go free. I guess. I mean, we kind of like dealing with um, a country that uh, that managed to get uh, its nuclear weapon, and um, let's think at least let's think a little bit that you know a lot of bad things can happen out of this. So at least we avoid that. That's uh, one thing I can think about. And for the humanitarian issues, I mean, I guess one way to stop that uh, would be like, yeah, to go into war with North Korea, install the democratic regime, and then stop all that. That's one way. I mean, the other way is uh, just like let things go and then let's hope for the best. And I mean, you can. I think it's okay to be hopeful about this kind of situation. Like I don't really know like uh, if it's uh, good to uh, kind of give Kim Jong Un a pass on this, but I mean he kind of inherited uh, this whole problem, you know. And then let's say like you this uh, this kind of uh, I, I guess he was a, a young guy at the time, and then uh, just inherit the, this whole problem with uh, North Korea with like a dictatorial regime. Uh, what can you do? Can you really like just say like? Uh, the next day, like you know, hey, we're gonna stop this. We're gonna become a democracy, and then everything is gonna be okay. I mean, would that work, really? <laughs> I don't know. But I would. I'm just telling you, I would really hate to be at uh, Kim Jong Un's place, you know. And uh, given what we we uh, given the situation, the fact that we arrive right now at uh, at. Um, a peace treaty, kind of a peace treaty being signed between uh, U.S. and uh, North Korea. Like that's, I think that's good, right? So, 
I, I think the thing is that bothers me with the this whole story, and then, you know, I'm always making a story when there's something that bothers me. Uh, I think overall, uh, there's like some shows that I watch. Like, uh, which one do I watch? I watch a uh, secular talk. <laughs> secular talk is that this guy, uh, Carl, Carl, something Carl, something Winsky, uh, Carl. Uh, he's. Uh, I. I usually. Uh, I like what he says, you know. And then I think you know he's very critical of Trump. He really dislikes Trump. But he says, like, in this kind of deal, he's hoping for this kind of a thing, you know, the the fact that, like, he's hoping that uh, Trump foolishly goes there and then uh, gets uh, signed on peace with Korea and feels good about himself. Uh, and, like, this is what his wish, and I, I, this is what I kind of uh, like this perspective, you know, like, this is uh, something to hope for, you know, just peace with uh, North Korea and South Korea and just uh, doesn't matter who signs it, you know, even if it's Trump or whatever. Uh, there are other, like, uh, outlets that I'm watching, like some other um, uh, news videos. I, I mostly watch uh, things from the, the left. I, I don't know, uh, like, uh, like, like, yeah, progressive, <laughs> progressive crap. I don't agree with all of it, but I actually do agree with most of it, so that's why I watch them. Uh, but for some uh, some of those uh, videos, uh, I feel like they're kind of unhappy with this whole thing uh, because they want to uh, to say something bad about like they have like very bad opinion of Trump and they want to pull out something bad out of it. Okay, the fact that we didn't get a great deal, uh, I mean, I guess you can say that it's bad, but for me, I don't really care. You know, like the fact that you know we just like. Uh, go to us peace with Korea. That's already like good enough for me. But yeah, I guess you could say that it's something bad. Uh, the fact that uh, Trump kind of turns a blind eye on. The... Oh yeah, I, I know why they're angry. <laughs> because you know they, they he, Trump seems to kind of like uh, praise uh, Kim Jong Un like oh yeah. Kim Jong Un, you're such a good guy and everything, and then at the same time uh, he's like uh, criticizing uh, Canada. I mean, it's, it's a bad thing if you really listen to Trump and then you think like, oh yeah, Trump is right, you know, Kim Jong Un is such a good guy, you know, uh, Kim Jong Un is like so so good guy, and did, uh, Canada, oh Canada is so evil. If you really believe that, then I. I mean, I, I guess you're an idiot, but you know, if uh, you're really worried about the idiots who believe that, then that's your problem, but you know, I mean, who be who believes this crap, you know, I think uh, the fact that uh, Kim Jong, uh, no, uh, the fact that Trump, you know, uh, decides to, like, uh, insult Canada and uh, praise uh, Trump, praise uh, North, North Korea's dictator leader, I mean, it's kind of like political game, and who cares, really? <laughs> Who cares in terms of like, uh, if you really believe that, then okay, then yeah, maybe you should care about that. But if you don't care about it, you know, I mean, I still think like Canada is a great place. I really don't have any bad feelings about uh, Trudeau. I mean, I didn't really follow this whole thing, like uh, the reason why he's uh, criticizing Trump, uh, Justin Trudeau. And I, I mean, I think it's like more or less like uh, Trump kind of. Uh, like talking bullshit about some some issue uh, that I don't really care about, and uh, the fact that he's like praising uh, you know Kim Jong Un. I mean, he's going there to try to get peace and out of this this dictator who's a little bit uh, maybe a little bit uh, kind of a, on a childish size, a little bit uh, has a, might be a little bit moody, you know. I mean, the fact that they they've been like. Uh, threatening like uh, all this nuclear war nonsense uh, for a while you know it means like this you kind of like uh, have to appeal to, to the, the guy's emotion right so maybe the praises are a little bit to appease to you know like uh, you know when you when you want to have a good deal you know you kind of have to uh, kind of bullshit a little bit although I think you know uh, Trump, he's a, he uh, maybe ha half believe you know what he says, maybe not, or I don't know. But uh, uh, 
what can we say? Like, uh, is is that a bad thing that he he praised uh, Kim Jong Un and then say and then uh, uh, made the uh, and say all the bad things about Trudeau? I don't know. Like like I say again, you know, like do you really believe Trump? Do you do you listen to what he's, what Trump says? You know, when Trump says like, uh, oh, Canada is bad and uh, Korea is good, uh, you really believe that? No, right? So, so that's why you know it, there's nothing to really care about, you know, and that that's why you know I, I think like this. I mean, it's a valid criticism, you know. You don't really, uh, uh, you know, compare like uh, North Korea and uh, Canada, and then uh, you know try to like. Uh, now it's kind of weird, like yeah, if you if you praise the a dictator and then at the same time you insult uh, the ally. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Is it really going to cause uh, problems in terms of the Canada and uh, U.S. relationship? I mean, when when the when the relationship, I mean, between U.S. and Canada, and, and there's I don't think there's like any risk, you know, about bad things happening between them, right? So I guess he he can uh, he can say a little bit bad things once in a while about uh, Canada, and it's, it's really not going to cause any problem, right? We're not going to go to war with Canada. Is that right? <laughs> um, but it's kind of like a, I mean, it's kind of like a good friend, right? Canada is a good friend of U USA, and then once in a while you can talk shit about Canada. It's okay. It's not a big deal. That's the way I see it, you know. I mean, I'm trying to uh, to pull out all the good things about this, all this whole situation, and then try to ignore the bad things. So maybe that's my little bias because I I really uh, think that. The whole uh, this whole, this whole uh, story with uh, with uh, North Korea is like I'm optimistic about it. So I think this is good, <laughs> and all the bad things. I mean, I guess it could have done. It could have gone better. I mean, I, it's hard for me to imagine like what could have gone, gone better. I mean, I guess like having a better deal, but uh, I mean, it's hard for me to imagine that. Uh, like, like you know, I I watched uh, the secure talk, and then uh, you know, Carl was mentioning that you know, uh, North Korea they they really they're not going to denuclearize. That would be silly of them to just like remove all the nukes, uh, especially like uh, given the history of the U.S. of. Uh, in the Middle East, where they, they, um, yeah, about Libya, right? They they ask uh, Libya to denuclearize, and then and after de Libya de denuclearize, uh, USA went in there and then just invaded and then just toppled down the regime. That was uh, kind of like uh, the story with the Libya model, and that's that's why you know like when um, when somebody mentioned the Libya model, uh, uh, Korea, North Korea got very mad. <laughs> It's kind of obvious. So that's why Carl. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Carl, Kru or try to pronounce it right. Carl Kurinsky from Progressive Talk mentioned that you know North Korea they're not gonna give up the nuclear weapon so easily. You know that would be silly of them. Like they just uh, remove the nuclear weapon and then without condition and then late next thing you know like North Korea. Uh, I mean USA comes in and then just topples down the regime. So now they they decide to denuclearize, like I guess little by little. And but actually the, the thing, the, the here's the thing, you know, I'm actually ha have a hard time seeing now that, you know, after this whole uh, deal done, that we're actually going to go into North Korea and then topple down the regime. I'm I have a hard time seeing that, you know, given what I've seen uh, yesterday. So. Yeah, that seems like uh, it seems like things are going a little bit better than I imagine. You know, I mean, I'm uh, like really. Uh, no, actually, I didn't imagine anything. I just imagine like nothing happening because for me, <laughs> like the worst thing happening was like uh, we decide to go to war with North Korea. That that would have been like very, very bad thing for me. For me, the next thing good that would happen is nothing happens. You know. Things stay the same, which is kind of bad too, you know. Given that North North Korea's regime is uh, 
is um, like slow, slowly descending towards like uh, a kind of famine and uh, and a very bad state for the people. So this is actually uh, better than the. Uh, this is actually a good thing. You know, for now, you know, I don't, I cannot predict the future. So always, you know, like uh, I say something, and then let's say next thing, you know, oh yeah, I guess I was wrong. But you no, know, actually, I, I don't want to say I'm wrong. I'm not wrong in being hopeful about today. I think this is good to be hopeful. This is what you, what uh, I think uh, you should be about: being hopeful about peace. You know, not thinking that you know. Oh, in order to have peace, you know, you have to have like the other side like uh, sign a deal and then make a, you know, just the fact that you know uh, things are going towards the direction of peace is already good, and you should not think, uh, you know, like oh, because this is um, um, there's like a lot of, I guess you can kind of that, that's I think that's a, mo a valid uh, argument that you know that given the the regime in Korea, given all the humanitarian problems. It's a little bit uh, hard to give them a pass on this, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I'm still f I'm still hopeful about it today. I just wanted to capture this because you know this is like I feel like this is kind of historical moment. You know, the fact that we might be able to get peace between North Korea and South Korea, I'm, I'm really hopeful about this, and that's why I wanted to make a video. Uh, I didn't prepare very well. That's why I, this is not a very good video. I'm a little bit rambling. Um, there's one thing I actually I wanted to share. You know, let's watch that uh, that, that silly video. You know, uh, one video I, I actually well no let's I'm I'm just gonna make another video out of it because I've been rambling for too long. But uh, yeah, uh, next I'm gonna watch uh, with you guys that video uh, with Dennis Rotman. Um, Next video. Alright, see you. Ciao.